Welcome back, fellow camp geeks. I am here with, well, what looks like a science experiment almost, right? This is the Grail. The Grail is essentially a, a water filter, a very lightweight, very easy to use, no pumping, no squeezing, no nothing, water filter. Uh, no sucking through a straw, drink. Uh, pour, push, drink. It's really simple in how it operates. It is very, very effective. So effective, it's like 99.99997 percent of viruses and protozoa, bacteria, chemicals, uh, improves the taste of water. Basically, it's an awesome filter that lasts quite a while. They, they, I think they claim up to 300 uses of this thing before the filter actually would be dead or three years after you actually start using it. Um, by itself in a sealed container without actually use it lasts 10 years so it can sit on the shelf for a long period of time even if it's been in the, the store that you're looking to purchase it for years you're good to go um, once you start using it you have about three years before you have to replace the filter media but that said it's pretty awesome in how it works the box it comes with is here obviously I have it out already uh, and I got myself some nasty well I kind of scooped into a palm uh, pond and then I added some more stuff just to really make it nasty um, let's stir it up here a little bit. Uh, nasty water, right? Which, if you're going to go filter water while you're backpacking or hiking or whatever, uh, you're probably going to go for some cleaner stuff than this. But, that said, we're going to show how it can work and how clean it'll actually do. So this is a nice clean glass that we're going to actually pour it off into after we're done. Uh, how this works is you have a cap. This would be your drinking side. Uh, so when you're actually doing the filtering, you keep that shut. Um, if you actually pull out, this is where you actually fill. And then you push the dirty water through the filter into the clean water container. That's the vessel basically inside the grail, I guess. Um, this is the piece that you would actually replace, uh, which they do have a, a ring down here there's a little plastic ring that keeps you from uh, accidentally opening it but basically that's how you actually this is the piece that you would actually replace itself when it actually does come time um, when it's on it actually has this plastic ring that keeps you from accidentally from turning that off or taking turning that out and actually removing it good thought there actually very good pr thought process all the rubber rings and everything the seals are actually solid rubber seals so they're gonna last a very long time but that said, you guys probably want to see how it works. Um, and that is by taking this, filling it up. Now they have a water line right here, right on the mar right mark on the side. I'm going to try to get as close to that as I can. Yeah, a little, a little, I could add a little more. Eh, close enough. I'm maybe a quarter inch down from it. Um, I'm inside. That's all right. It doesn't matter. I can clean that up later. All right. So now we got a vessel container of nasty, dirty water. And we're going to make clean water by basically pushing this slowly down. Now, the way they say that this works and probably, I probably should uh, unseal the top so it actually can come through. Um, you have to actually, if I keep this lid on, it's airtight so it can actually push its way into here. But you have to have this loosened at least a little bit to allow the water to press through the actual vessel into the actual inner vessel, um, which isn't a bad thing, just loosen the top. They, they claim two liters per minute is what you can do, so it takes about 15 seconds um, from when you start pressing down till you're done pressing down, which I am now done pressing. So the container is now essentially full of clean, drinkable water. Let's see how she did. Well, other than my oopsie daisies I did earlier, that's pretty awesome. That is crystal clean water. That tastes like it came out of the tap. Um, you know, they claim in it that makes water taste better. Makes it taste clean, I guess. Tastes like bottled water, essentially. Which is what it should be. Um, and then when it's time to actually do it again, just draw, pull it back out. And let's see, there's the na some of the nasty bits. And of course the filters has some more in it. Let's do this the right way this time, okay? 
put it back in before you start pushing down. Loosen the lid just a hair and start, uh, maybe a little more, there we go, and start the press. So even if you're having uh, more than one person, uh, you could technically do probably a trip with, you know, maybe upwards of two people. A group, I would have more than one of these. Uh, in reality, personally, I would actually want one per person because um, that's kind of what it's built for. It's kind of built as the as your water bottle, right? But it's a lot easier than pumping. I'll give it that. Pumps work great for larger groups. Uh, and then gravity filters even better for even larger groups. Um, but to be honest, the Grail, I've used this already. I cleaned it up before I did this. But it works really, really well. It cleans really, really well. And I really like the design of it. And for, I think it's 59 I think is what they go for. Uh, and I will put links where you can purchase down below. And you can take a peek at their website and look at all the information on them. I have nothing but great things to say about the Grail. Uh, so with that said, guys... Um, maybe I'll bring it in real quick so you can take a peek at the piece of the, uh, peek, peek at the components real close. Uh, yeah, let's do that real quick. So while I, let's just throw a towel down here and get the drippings that I messed up on. We'll pour this back into the container of fun. And just pulling out, you can see where all the pieces are. So obviously the cap, I'm just going to throw the cap back on real quick. This piece, this little bit here, is literally just a sealed tube it says grail on it and then gives you the watermark line like i showed you before and then this is the piece right here that if you need to actually remove this filter um you can either pull this off or just basically what you're just supposed to pull this and turn loosen up which allows it to fully loosen and there it is right there if we put it back a new one let's say we're putting a new one back on you just start turning until that clip reaches the set in point at which point once it sets in it can't be turned without really cranking hard on it which is designed to to keep you from doing it at the end of your trip you're going to want to let this sit out to, to air dry out you're not going to want to let water just sit in here just like anything um but other than that after you start using this but they claim about three years or 300 uses whichever comes first um and that's the grail so the Grail, um, which I should uh, air to go through there as I push it back down, uh, is BPA free, is chemical free. I don't have any water in there, so it's just air I'm pushing through it, which is what it is. Uh, chemical free, BPA free. Uh, the actual plastic parts are, are actually made in China. The filter media, though, is actually built here in the United States. Um, and they make... <laughs> A really good product. I have nothing but great things to say about it from the time I've used it and obviously the time I've used it here in front of you as well. Um, it does uh, test it to NSF standards 42 plus 53. I'm not familiar with that, but uh, it, it is to the NSF standards. Uh, and that's what it is. Uh, for simplicity, no real mechanical parts. Awesome. Um, much better than what life straw or anything any of those like drinking through the straw type filters a lot easier to do and you can have quick and easy access to more than uh the water that you place in here so obviously you can put it fill up an algae and do it again fill up another one fill you know and just fill things up with it real quick for a single person i think it's actually fantastic so with that said guys if you have any other questions or comments uh please post those below subscribe to the channel check us out on uh at uh campgeeks.com as well as camp geeks everywhere and be sure to let everybody know, uh, know about this and share the video. That's the big thing we aggregate out there. So thanks again for stopping by. We'll catch you on a future video.